Hey guys, it's Gary with Automatic Door and Hardware, and I'm here with Gary Sr. And today we're going to be talking about a commercial door closer buying guide. Um, a lot of you guys have uh, door closers, and if you're watching this video, more than likely you're having some issue with your door closer. Um, a door closer, I'll show some videos of uh, some door closers, but they're the metal looking device that's usually surface mounted either to the top of the door or the top of the door frame and they use a uh, spring and hydraulics to regulate the closing speed of the door um, and more than often you'll find door closers that are leaking oil that's a good sign of them worn out and it's time to replace so gary senior will he'll show you the door closer that we offer um, we offer a universal door closer um, this product um, is from Construction Pro Hardware um, and it's the model Swingman. Um, he's going to hold it up. It includes a uh, cover. Um, a lot of other closer bodies, even for the smaller footprints, don't include the cover. So that's nice because that will help protect the actual closer body, particularly the, uh, the seals. Um, from any outside elements. Um, so that's this right here is our 9 and 1 16 inch um, closer body footprint. Uh, it can really replace uh, quite a few, uh, you know, big box uh, closer brands. Um, so it's, it's a really great unit, something that you can have on your truck to replace pretty much anything that's out there. But that's the unit right there. It's UL listed, so it's safe uh, to put in commercial buildings. Um, so these are what you'll typically find on uh, any type of commercial door. Now there are different versions of them. Uh, we offer a more heavy duty one uh, and more of a medium duty one as well. Uh, but the purpose of this video is to help you as a buyer figure out what you need. Uh, so now in most, in most cases, uh, Commercial building owners or even installers, they don't want to drill any new holes or anything like that. So it's going to be very important that you're going to want to match um, what's already up there. Um, if you're okay with adding a new closer, then by all means, yeah, this is a great unit for you. But if you're looking to just replace what's there, your best bet is actually going to be to contact us because although we have our own uh, commercial door hardware products, we also uh, distribute all of the top name door closer brands as well. So chances are if you get in contact with one of our sales representatives, we can help guide you to the direct replacement door closer uh, so that there is no uh, um, mismatch in whole patterns or anything like that. We can get you the exact OEM brand. Um, so that's something to think about. But like I said, for new construction, this is gonna be the best unit to uh, to purchase just because it comes with a new template and you can install it on a door closure that doesn't have a, um, you can install it on a door that doesn't have a closure yet. For the existing applications where you're looking to just replace a defective unit, call, contact us, um, help at autodoorandhardware.com and we'll be able to guide you to finding um, an OEM direct replacement. This door closure has a uh a latch adjustment which is uh, designated by the L which controls the last 10 degrees of the uh, closing and then this is a sweep adjustment which uh, closes or regulates the closing speed which should be set depending on your door size between four and six seconds for that door to close a lot of uh, doors out there are adjusted so they're closing way faster than what they should be uh, and aren't adjusted per ANSI regulations. And this is a back check, which adjusts the, the last part of the uh, swing of the door as it is opening. And it should never be uh, used as a backstop. It's j simply to add it, uh, regulate the door as a cushion to keep it from uh, being swung open too far and it offers a cushion on the end. This also has a uh, spring adjustment 
or the uh, spring size, uh, size one to five. And this is a grade one door closure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a real high quality unit. Um, you know, with this video, we wanted to come out with a buying guide basically to uh, bring attention on what you should be looking for when purchasing a door closer. So uh, Gary Sr. had talked about the adjustable spring. Um, many cheaper model door closers do not have an adjustable spring. Um, it's a fixed spring. So what that means is you really have to measure out your door, know the weight, because if you get the wrong spring size for that door, um, it's gonna close, uh, it won't have enough power to shut it or it will shut it way too fast and it won't meet uh, code requirements. So that's one thing where we just took out the guesswork. Um, we only offer the adjustable spring. So uh, whether you have just an ADA 36 inch door or a big, bigger 48 inch door, we're, our door closer will be able to handle that. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, another thing he had mentioned too was the back check. Uh, this is usually a feature that is cost quite a bit extra from any door closer manufacturer. But like he said, is it, it's essentially a cushion for the last portion of the opening of the door cycle. So if you have ever been in like a, a university or something like that where you see the kids uh, push the panic bars and try to slam the door open, um, this will save your door from getting damaged due to that. Um, you won't really be able to slam the door open because it'll have that cushion at the end. So what a lot of people don't tell you is that by having this feature, assuming that you have a door stop installed, because again, you don't want to use that as your door stop. You should still have a door stop so it'll cushion and then hit the door stop. But assuming that you have a door stop and you utilize the back check function, this could actually save damage uh, from occurring on your door hinges, your door frame, um, pretty much the entire door system. So that little feature that comes standard with our closer uh, is something that uh, can save you tons of money in the long term, um, rather than going you know, with a cheaper model that doesn't have that feature. Um, and then too, also he had mentioned the latch speed and uh, sweep or main closing speed. These are easy to adjust valves uh, that'll regulate the hydraulic pressure and regulate the speed at which the door closes. So, you know, again, if you're watching this video, chances are you have some issue with your door closer. Does that door closer need to be replaced? Possibly, is it leaking oil? If you turn these uh, adjustment valves and nothing happens, you know, things like, the, the clues like that are telling you, yeah, your closer is probably shot. But with our unit, um, you have two easy to adjust valves. You should only be turning these about an eighth inch uh, turn at a time uh, because underneath, uh, basically there's a valve seal at the end of those, uh, the valves and it screws in there. So if you unscrew it too far, um, you could actually unscrew those all the way and then the uh, hydraulic fluid will leak out. Um, and that's just, that's how pretty much everybody's door closer is. So you're gonna wanna definitely make sure that you're only doing eighth in, eighth, one eighth turns at a time. Um, you never wanna be doing full rotations. Uh, but with our unit, you can really dial in the closing speed to where the door closes nice and smooth and slow. And then when it gets to the last 10 degrees, the latch speed adjustment, you could tune that in so that the door can still latch uh, and seal, but it, um, it's not slamming shut. Um, you know, defective door closer symptoms are leaking oil, the door slamming shut, potentially hurting someone's fingers, it's dangerous. Um, you make adjustments, nothing happens, the door closer doesn't seem to respond. Um, or you could tell a physical uh, issue with it, uh, such as a broken arm or something like that. And with these units, a lot of times, even if you have a broken arm, you're still in the long term better off just replacing the whole unit because um, some of the units out there are of much cheaper quality and those arms will just wash right out if they're loose at all. Uh, not only that, is there's so many different brands out there, uh, finding that replacement arm is really uh, difficult. So that's another thing you're gonna wanna consider when shopping for these is what's, your, what's the support side on it if something does go wrong? Like with our unit, if, if you, if a painter comes out and disconnects the arm, we can sell you another arm or we can get you parts for these units in regards to uh, uh, the arm or something like that. Um, 
And if you have questions too, you can contact us. But like on a lot of the big box stores that offer closers, um, like I said, look through the features that we described, but also who can you talk to, to, to help you out in terms of, um, instructions or something like that. Cause the, the sad fact is a lot of these door closers are imports and you know, I mean, you could be the smartest guy in the world, but if you don't know Chinese, I mean, how are you supposed to read the instructions to install it? So with our unit, it's nothing like that. Um, English instructions, we're a family owned business. And um, I think you're gonna be really pleased with this door closer. Again, you can get this at autodoorandhardware.com. This is the Construction Pro Hardware model uh, Swingman. Um, we have it available in, I think, what were the colors that did we have? Uh, uh, this silver color, mm -hmm. which is in dark bronze. Yeah, yep. So, <clears throat> yep, all available online. Uh, and again, give us a call if you have any questions or if you just want to replace uh, a closer you have there, we can match, match you up as we have just hundreds of OEM brands in stock ready to ship. So give our sales reps a call. Thanks. Thank you.